chapter 2. And uh, we'll continue talking about this uh, topic of Pergamos, the compromising church, and looking at um, the great topics that are in here, the very exciting things that a person gets to discover in these passages. If your Bible is a red letter Bible, you'll notice that these are all red letters. And that's because Jesus Christ himself is speaking these words. And we know the whole Bible is Christ's word. Amen. He delivered it through the Holy Spirit to the apostles. But yet, uh, this if we look at this, we know that he is personally speaking uh, to the apostle John during this time because he had the right to inspect the churches. He had the right to uh, relay a message to these churches as far as what it is that he would like them to know. And we also know that these passages and the seven churches we're dealing with are very relevant to our today's churches. And the problems that we're looking at here, as much as we maybe talk about Balaam, the Nicolaitan, to say, what in the world is that? Uh, that still is very <laughs> pertinent for our churches today because the doctrine itself is very alive and well. The doctrine of Balaam within our churches, the doctrine of Nicolaitans, well, we might get to that uh, tonight, probably not. I don't want to you know, go that far, but we'll probably do a third part in this church because there's just so much stuff in here uh, for me to go over. And so let's go to Revelation chapter 2, and we're going to start in verse number 12, and we'll read down uh, to verse number, what is that, verse 17. And so it says here, And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. And that's as far as I got last week. Amen. Uh, and it goes on. 